Real estate is a timing thing. You don't wait to buy real estate. You buy real estate and then wait. It takes time. When you buy a property, you have to let it mature and show on taxes that it made money. That's a whole year that has to pass until you can get something. When I tell people the first step is getting a HELOC, you might be in a crappy situation and have to clear up your credit. That could take you six months, and then it takes a few months to get a HELOC. We're already a year into this. Then, and only then, you go look for a property. If it cash flows and you're in the position to buy it, you buy it. Oh crap, it only cash flows a couple hundred bucks. You slap lipstick on it, you crank the rent. If you're gonna sit there and wait for the perfect deal, you'll be waiting the rest of your life. If you're sitting there convincing yourself, okay, once the market corrects, I'll for sure, for sure take action. No, you won't. You have a deeper issue of not taking action. You will keep waiting and waiting and waiting. On the flip side, you can take action, buy a property. Yeah, it wasn't the best deal. I've never bought a good deal. You improve it, you increase rent. Are you forgetting about the principal pay down that the renter's paying for your mortgage? Are you forgetting about the depreciation and the tax benefit? Are you forgetting about appreciation and the fact that your net worth is going up? Are you forgetting that you can sell it in the future for way more than you bought it? You're so caught up on the good cash flow, you're not taking action. So let's say you did buy the property. Rents only went up and up, just like all time and all history. The worth of the property went up. Guess what? This is, every time I do this, this is years I'm talking about, years. And it's not until you do your first few that it becomes easier to do more, to then 1031 exchange and sell property and get more bigger properties. Years and years. So if you don't start now, you're gonna be five years out until you start, then you have to wait years, then you're already 50. So stop convincing yourself, stop convincing anyone else that you're gonna take action when things cool off. The reason I know you won't take action unless you change something is because the exact excuses and things people are saying now is exactly what they said 10 years ago. I was by myself taking action when the whole world was against me. Oh, the Model X? Yeah, I didn't pay for that. When the whole world was saying Tesla's gonna go bankrupt, I was heavily investing in it. Paid for my Model X, my Model S, and three Cybertrucks. That Elon, Papa Elon, paid for. My point is, you guys are listening to your broke brother-in-law and your parents who have no experience and professional analysts. They're always wrong. I've always done the exact opposite of everyone, and that's why I'm in the position I'm in. So you can either take action, or you can be like everyone else and their dog, literally, and do nothing. I'm simply speaking from personal experience saying things take years to accomplish. So you might as well start now and let the years mature. There's so many things you're not seeing in real estate that takes too long to explain of these other benefits.